Hello guys, welcome back to AS Learning. So in this video, we will cover the interview experience with Emphasis company. So this interview was the for the position of Spring Boot and Java developer and the experience required is around 3 to 4 years and the salary offered is around 10 to 12 LPA range. So let's start. So first question was asked based on Core Java that is uh, how can we create immutable class in Java. So immutable means the state which cannot be changed uh, once we assign. So the steps which uh, are needed to create immutable class in Java are that first step is to declare the class as final so that it cannot be extended. Next is we should not provide setter method in our uh, that immutable class and uh, third one is make all fields as a private so it the direct access is not allowed and fourth one is whatever the mutable fields are there in our class we should make mark them as final so that its value will be assigned only once in a uh, whole application lifetime and also one more point uh, which uh, most of the int like uh, which most of the programmers like uh, forgot that we should initialize all fields via constructor to perform deep copy so these were the some of the points which we need to consider while making immutable class next question was methods of intermediate operation in java 8 stream api so if you see java 8 stream api uh, stream api was introduced in, introduced in java 8 so there are typically like uh, different types of operation like we have intermediate then uh, terminal and such that so every operation have some methods so intermediate operations in java 8 includes like uh, we have sorted then distinct then for each and uh, sorry not for each for each uh, one of the terminate terminal operation but sorted distinct and then peak and such that we have number of lots of uh, methods which are known as intermediate operation so these methods get used before we terminate the that stream execution so go through it uh, stream tutorial once if you don't have uh, any like uh, that knowledge on intermediate operation so there are lots of method you can name any four or five next question is how to disable auto configuration class this was based on spring boot so we can disable by using exclude keyword and uh, we can pass that class name in that exclude keyword then it uh, at the time of uh, uh, like loading up the application spring boot application it will exclude that particular class and for to create bin next is steps to perform crud using rest using spring boot actually this question was uh, using spring boot and rest so the question uh, answer to this question as i have already covered in our previous video so you can watch that i will provide the link in description so that video contains uh, all the like steps which we need to consider while implementing crud application using spring boot and rest api so for now uh, we all i can say is that to, to perform scrollout operation we should follow like uh, we should first create the spring boot project from scratch like a from initializer then we should introduce our uh, service controller repository and DAO layer DAO classes and uh, for cloud operation we should uh, use gate mapping for insert for fetching post mapping for inserting put mapping for updating and delete mapping for delete operation so in this way you, we can uh, achieve cloud operation so for more detail you can watch the video link uh, link is given in description next is uh, compar comparable versus comparator so i have also covered this video in our java interview questions and java questions playlist so you can watch that i will provide the link in description you can refer that and this is one of the also one of the most asked question based on like a java interview question for three to five years of experience next question is based on difference between open session and get current session so this question is based on hibernate so open session means we should uh, uh, we can create a new session uh, if you want to create new session every time then we can use open session but if you want to use uh, same se session which is bound to that current context of hibernate so we should use get current session and also major difference is that for uh, whenever we are using open session so for it we should always close it manually 
but uh, in case of get current session hibernate takes care of it and it clo uh, closes all the current session bound to it uh, by manual means uh, internally so this was the difference between open session and get current session next question was how can you uh, segregate environment wise config files in spring boot so for this we can use spring profilers like spring profiles so you can create a number of files like for your environment for example uh, application hyphen qa dot properties application dot uh, hyphen uat dot properties and appli application hyphen dev and prod dot properties so in this way you can achieve spring profiles here and whenever that uh, property file will go get load into environment specific context it will load that particular file only and the rest will be ignored so we can achieve this using spring profiles now next question is uh, based on java coding so find first non repeating character from the given string so we have already covered in a java interview coding interview question playlist so you can refer that next is what is the purpose of indexing in sql so indexing is basically used to increase or uh, in the concept of performance tuning to increase the performance uh, of your query execution so suppose we have large data set and we want to reduce the time to being fetch this number of uh, huge records so in that case we should uh, use per, uh, indexing to decrease the load on database queries and increase the performance so more detail you can find on like a, where there are various article just go through it it will be very helpful for your database questions next was uh, did you use junit or mockito in your project so this was project based question this question can be asked to you also in your next interview questions uh, next next interview experience so be prepared with it and i will suggest uh, like go through some basic of junit and mockito so it, it will be really helpful to you and last question was how can we update latest commit message in git so this question was based on git so suppose you have committed any changes and it has a push to your repository and you want to update or change the commit message which you have entered at the time of git commit so to update that we have some command like git amend by using that we can uh, change or update the latest git commit message and one more question was asked based on sql is that sql query to find all duplicate rows in the table so this was a, ba a basic question i have already covered in our sql interrogation playlist so you, you can see the thumbnail in the video right now and uh, if not so i will also provide the link in description you can refer that so this were the all the questions which were asked in that emphasis interview question interview so i hope this will help you in your next interview Please stay tuned for such more videos. Thank you and subscribe to our channel AS Learning.